All right, so boom. So you tell your girl, you're like, yo, welcome to my palace. You know, we about to watch some fire stick, you know, watch some good movies, Netflix and chill. You already know. And she's like, okay, you know, uh, Raz Kid, where's your remote at? And I'm like, hmm, where's my remote? Oh, wait, <laughs> I ain't even tripping, girl. I got my <sighs> Samsung remote right here. And she's like, oh, wait, Howard, how are you supposed to do that? Oh, Raz Kid, how are you supposed to do that? You're not having a fire stick. Uh, wait, you don't have a fire stick remote. Oh, well, I got this, and guess what? Wham. No need. You got a tech right here. It's Raz Kid, man, and I'm going to show you guys how to, instead of use your fire stick remote, ah, you can use your Samsung remote or whatever remote you have that has an IR blaster. Hopefully it works out for other remotes. It might just be a smart TV kind of thing, but I'm going to let you know that Samsung does it, so... Let's get into it. So first things first, you have your fire stick. You need the uh, you need your remote first hand. So once you have this, you need to go up and go to your settings, okay? Once you go to settings, you go over to controllers and Bluetooth. Okay. Make sure all your remotes are good. Make sure they, you know, find it. You would think go to add new remote. Nah, it's not it. Uh you're gonna go to okay sorry guys i would have technical difficulties here you're gonna go to displays and sound after you check your controllers on bluetooth you're gonna go to displays and sound right and then once you do that you need to go to hdmi cec device control this allows amazon fire stick tv to send a signal over to hdmi that powers your tv and then once you do that okay make sure it is on okay you press on and that's all you have to do so once you do that, you're going to grab your Samsung remote or whatever remote you want to do and make sure it has this functionality, okay? You need to go to menu. And then you're going to have to go to, bear with me here. Uh, yes, you're going to go to any net HDMI C and make sure this is selected and make sure it is on, okay? Make sure it's on. Auto turn off. Yes. I, I'm not too sure on if it keeps it on. I don't know. But anyway, once you have both of those selected, then what you're going to want to do is, uh, well, you're going to have to go to sources right here. Sources. Click sources. Then go down. And then go to any net plus HDMI. And then you'll see Fire Stick. Click on Fire Stick, and it will start connecting. It'll start doing things real sexy. Ain't that right, Vaporwave and the chick from the craft? All right, so once that happens, you can move it with the remote. Let's go back to the home. Oh, well, exit. Yep, exit. 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 And then, voila, man. There you go. You can use your Samsung remote on your Fire Stick. Hope you guys like the video, man. If you guys have any other questions or if it doesn't work, I can see if it works for other remotes. If not, man, just let me know. I'll be here. Please like, subscribe. If you guys don't like, then it's all good in the hood, man. I'll be here. All right, you guys. Peace.